Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's. Well, today is the day we are going to try and get some color on this thing. Uh, the the frame and the forks and the headlight bucket and all that. We're going to uh, hopefully by the end of this video have it all one color, get it cleaned up. But before I can get any paint on anything, I got to get decals off. So uh, I've got side decals and I've got to get this decal off. So and then tape up the vent tag on the head tube so let's get at it and get this stuff off That one was on pretty good. The other one had fallen off and someone had tried to glue it back on, so it wasn't on there very well. Now, I'm not trying to get crazy with the sanding and, and going to try and make this thing look perfect, but I do want to get rid of the residue from the adhesive. And you can see it in this spot right here. See it? I've sanded it off up here. You know, I want to, I want to make sure the paint does stick and so forth. So I'm just trying to get rid of that. It's what, what I'm attempting to do now, just hitting it with some sandpaper. So. 
I'll continue to work on that and clean that up. All right, so I've got the frame cleaned up the best I'm going to clean it up. And I, I know there are some guys out there going, man, that thing's not ready to paint, but hey, welcome to Mini Bike Mike's Garage uh, if you haven't been here. So this is the way I do things. Uh, got the Vintag taped up, got, you know, I know that there'll be a sticker back over top of that, you know, but I wanted to get the adhesive off to make sure paint stuck to it and make sure the sticker sticks all right. So I've got that on both sides. So we're getting ready to throw some paint on it. Now, here's what I'm going to use. Uh, this will be my final color, and it's a little off. Uh, it actually matches maybe a little closer when it's than what the cap, but it is lighter. Uh, it's a VHT SP404 Gold Flake made by VHT. Um, that will be the final color. I've used it a few times, but it is lighter than the original candy gold. So I'm going to try and darken it up by using a black primer. And then I have this, which is metallic copper, which doesn't match either. It's a little too copperish, but it's a little darker. So I'm hoping to primer one coat and then another coat with this and hopefully that will get me ah, somewhere in the ballpark so i've got to shoot that i've got i already would put primer on a couple of the parts over here but i've got other parts i need to spray so that's what we're going to get set up to do all right, so I really don't want to get uh, overspray and, and paint in my other shop, so I brought you out here in the warehouse part. Uh, the lighting's not as good and the sound quality's not as good, kind of echoes and stuff, but this is where I'm going to paint it at. Uh, if you get bored, just look at the old leaky GMC back there or something and now I'll be the first to admit I don't know a damn thing about painting, okay? So, like I said, I'm going to try and do some darker bases to try and darken up the final. I don't really know if it works that way or not. <laughs> so don't listen to me, but this is the way I'm gonna do it and, and we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out. All right, so I've got everything in primer, letting it dry. Give it just a little bit, and then we will start putting some color on it.
So I've got the metallic coat on, and I gotta say, I kinda like it. Uh, I tried that paint as a sample on a piece, and I didn't think it matched very well. Okay, now I get these over in a different light. I don't know, I didn't put it over top of the black primer like I did these parts, and I didn't like the match for the candy gold when I did that. I don't know if it's the lighting out here or if it's the black primer underneath, but I like that color really well. It, I, I need to go get a candy gold part and see just how much. Oh, look at that. I put that headlight right in through that hole. Isn't that cool? I didn't mean to do it. Looks like, it looks like the GMC's looking at us. I'm looking in the uh, key, the hole right here. Anyway, uh, get distracted by the simplest thing, squirrel. Anyway, um, so I think I'm still going to hit it with the, the other lighter gold and just do a light, light coat. Because when I get over here, looking at the pieces through the camera lens and looking at them without the camera, I'm seeing two different colors. Uh, it's a much darker coppery looking not when i'm looking at it in person and not through the through the lens of the camera so um anyway enough jabbering i'm gonna uh, let this dry for a little bit and then we are going to put one more light coat of a little lighter color on top and see how that turns out This is the SP404 Gold Flake. From my experience of using this, it runs pretty easy. You gotta stay back. You don't wanna put it on very heavy. All right. I keep shutting you off after I do this side because I can't, uh, the light for the other side is not very good, so I gotta turn the frame around. Well, I got all the paint on it, and I'll have to say, maybe I should have stopped after the uh, the first coat of color. I think maybe it was a little closer to the stock color after it was put on top of the, uh, the black primer than what I've got here. This is a little bit lighter. I was hoping maybe the blending of the paints would get it to uh, darken up a little bit, but uh, you know what? I'm happy with it. It's all one color. I put it all together. It's going to it's gonna be a decent looking bike. Um, you know, I, I just spent three hours this morning. This whole video is, is less than uh, three hours of real time. You know, you saw me take the decal off, sand it down a little bit, hit it with uh, three coats of paint, a, a black, a flat black primer. This is a Rust-Oleum engine enamel. Oh, focus. And it's a metallic copper. And then I topped it with the VHT SP404 Gold Flake. And I, the bike's gonna look pretty decent. It's gonna be a 10 footer when we get done. Uh, it's not perfect. You're, you're gonna find maybe a few little runs in it and where I didn't like sand down, you know, get down to bare metal uh, and get all the scratches like right here. You know, you're gonna see, you know, stuff like that. It's not perfect. Like I said, it's it's not designed to be. It's a, uh, what would you say, $8 a can. So it's a $24 paint job. Yep. Looks like a $24 paint job to me. So <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> I had fun. Hope you enjoyed video. Uh, I got to let this dry for a day or so and come back and then I'll put the decals on it and go through and and uh, run a tap uh, through all the threads and make sure everything's clean. And then we will start putting it back together on the next video. Guys, appreciate you following along. 
Hit me up if you got any comments or questions or anything, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.